everyone, and welcome to our Thursday collaboration, Rock and Pour. Um, I'm coming in last. Uh, I'm glad you stayed to watch me. I hope that you were here to watch Louise McKay and her amazing creation. Lori Houston, she always has some fabulous things to show us, including all of her flower pops that I just love dearly, and the amazing Amber's awfully awesome art. Everything she touches turns to gold, it seems like. Uh, she can do just about anything. I love her work. Today, we have the um, challenge of painting on something other than a canvas. I chose a Telecaster uh, guitar. Of course, it's, you know, why not? It's rock and pour, right? So, I'm going to get you guys down we're gonna get started hopefully it will dry before we get done if not then I will show you in another episode so let's get busy okay guys so exciting so um, as I told you I'm uh, painting a, a guitar and uh, we put the word out to Dustin Burge our friend um, and uh, he has tons of guitars and he had this guitar laying like outside on his back porch he was going to get rid of it so we took it from him he also gave me while i was there a playable um guitar and i'll show you at the end or maybe we'll show it in another video but anyway he gave me one that actually plays this one is going to um hang in my new art studio so we painted the back i'm using a concord grape color by color to go sherwin williams Oop. It's still kind of tacky. We're going to sand it down. Um, but yeah, I guess so did and painted it. Um, sticking a little bit, so. I'm going to get another cup. <laughs> anyway, I'm just super, super excited that we can do this. And Louise, thank you for... Um, the suggestion of pouring on something other than a canvas. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed everyone else's videos tonight. Uh, I can't wait to see what they did. But, we're going to get started with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to also use the Concord Grape and the Color To Go. And I have some, a couple of piggies mixed up. I have the grunge and the horizon and they're bright it's like a bright neon green the grunge and the horizon is just like a azo orange but has like a little gold shift in it and it just glistens so I'm going to use those two colors on here. I also have the pit guard that I have gessoed. Um, and I'm going to do the base with this with tricorn black. And I'm going to add a purple to those colors on the top of this so that when we put it back together, it'll be on top like that in a different color over the purple. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway. Um, Let's get started because I don't have long. I'm going to use um, a light gold by Amsterdam, lamp black by Amsterdam, and I also have a greenish yellow by Amsterdam mixed up as cell activators. All right, here we go. And I'm not going to worry about this because I've got this all taped off. Hopefully, after we paint it, we can get these off pretty well. Um, we'll have, I, I tried to put the tape inside where the actual uh, parts go, except for this one is a little big, but this is covered up with that, so I think it'll be alright. So I'm just going to pour it on here and stop talking. And I got this color mixed, I didn't know I was going to be using it on this guitar, so it's awfully cool. A little bit we're gonna swipe it and then 
we're going to um, just kind of tilt it out a little bit. We'll make sure I have enough paint on here. And I don't know where everything is, so we're going to do a few swipes, I guess, just to make sure. But um, I think I want the orange on top. Kind of do multiple swipes on here because I don't know where they're going to end up. So that's the fun part about it. Hopefully we'll be left with some really cool stuff. So, okay, that was The Horizon by TLP. Here's the grunge. Yeah, it took us quite a long time to um, get this sanded down and we had to use some wood filler to fill some scratches and scrapes and stuff, but I got it done, thanks to my husband. He kind of knows his way around guitar, so that's always good. So thank you, Greg. All right, so I'm gonna use that. Put the black, then the gold, then the greenish yellow. And I'm gonna do each one of these and just kind of swipe down. So I'll do this one first. Let's do it again. All of, the, all of the colors and products I'm using are going to be in my description box. So I'm going to come here. That's going to all be tilted off, so it'll be okay. It's gonna be bright, but that's okay because I want something bright on my wall. All right, so we're gonna go right through here. Oh, this is so much fun, guys. Love it. Love those colors together. So if anybody was wondering, purple is my favorite color, and this is close to the purple that I love. So this is even more fun for me. One more time. We'll tilt it and we'll move on to the Pit garden. Okay, I think maybe I want to wreck them a little bit. Now that I'm looking at them, maybe. Oh, yeah. That gold in there is pretty. Yeah, these colors are neat. Now, if we can get a composition that we like, I'm about to get dirty here. All right, let's see here. Where am I at? Kind of tricky because the, the you've got some gaps in here, so probably gonna lose this up here in the corner, but we'll just go slow and see what happens. Fast. Just trying to get it right over this lip here. This thing's heavy too. I don't know if anybody's ever done this with a Telecaster body, but it's pretty heavy. So the back will get sanded, so this paint will definitely come off the back. Just trying to get the sides kind of get some of this extra off. I really care about the top mostly. The edges and the sides can all be fixed later. I'm probably going to come back and resin this too at a later date. Okay. I'm going to take these gloves off and move this out of the way and get some of the drips and uh, we'll move on to the pit guard. I decided to modify it a little bit, so I figured I'd bring it with me. Now 
I'm done. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Ah, let's do the pit guard. So I'm gonna do the pit guard now, and I was looking through my colors and the colors that ended up on the guitar, and I think all I wanna do is this gold and um, this greenish yellow swipe, and I'm just gonna swipe over the color. So we're gonna put this on pretty thin, sparingly. And this is the black track horn from Sherwin Williams Color to Go. Just hoping this thing will be dry by the time we do this video. If not, I will definitely bring it back and show you guys. So I couldn't talk Greg and let me use one of his guitars, but he did say maybe he would buy a new one and let me do this to it as soon as he gets it. So maybe we should video it. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. To get the whole clearing out there. All right. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit so I think it'll be all right. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a big palette swipe and then we're just going to tilt it. Put some gold right on top of it. And we're just gonna swipe. with negative space. Kind of like that. I think that will look pretty cool. Okay. Alright. Tilted it pretty good. I think it's going to look pretty cool sitting up on top of it. It's the other stuff. It's different. Okay. I'm just going to punch these holes, guys, and uh, let this dry. Hopefully, it will dry uh, when you see it next. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Um, as I said, it's not going to be dry in time. But it's dry up until about right there. And it's so pretty. So the next next Thursday, I will show you guys this finished result in the intro of the video. But the pit guard is dry. And that turned out really cool, I think. So, thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. We will see you next week on Thursday. And uh, keep coming back, because we will. Bye.